I was asked by one of the viewers of this channel about using Epsom salt or magnesium sulfate as a mordant. Not only is that something I had never done, it's something I had not considered. So in this video, I am going to be using Epsom salt um, and comparing it to using alum as a mordant. And the plant that I'll use is red hibiscus petals to create dye. So let's take a look. I had already created the dye for this experimentation. So I have three jars of hibiscus dye here and uh, there will be three, well, only two mordants and then I'll leave one without mordant and we'll see the results that way. One thing that became apparent after these jars were in the sun for a couple of days is that um, very much like the um, aluminum sulfate, aluminum potassium sulfate, um, magnesium sulfate, aka Epsom salt, will change the color of the hibiscus dye to purple as well. One of the primary things that I wanted to check with this experiment was to see how much of the dye rinses out of the fabric with the use of the magnesium sulfate mordant. Um, I've done a video before on hibiscus dye. It doesn't last long anyway, um, but I did a video with hibiscus dye once where I used um, aluminum acetate <laughs> to mordant and the color stayed in. Uh, better than when I just used a loom and when I use no mordant. So with the rinsing, I was just trying to show how much of the color washes out. As I said, hibiscus isn't one of those plants you want to rely on heavily when trying to, you know, have long lasting color because it just over time is going to fade anyway. Even if you can get it to stay in the fabric for a while with the mordant, it's just not long lasting. It's just the nature of it. So, um, but that's what I wanted to do by rinsing. And right here, I'm going to show you what happens if you put these pieces in a washing machine. As you can see, the color washes right out despite these pieces um, being treated with mordant. The next experiment I wanted to do involved using a tannin first. Um, and then the magnesium sulfate, AKA Epsom salt. So 
with cellulose fibers, uh, plant-based fibers like cotton, it's been stated that if you use a tannin first and then um, what we'll call a chemical mordant like the alum or the perhaps the Epsom salt, you'll get a better outcome um, because these fabrics really need to be prepared well to accept dye. They're not like protein fibers. So with this one, I wanted to do tannin first. As you saw, I used some cut up avocado seeds, which are high in tannin. And then I'm gonna, after it's soaked in that for a long time, I'm gonna soak it in some hot water that has magnesium sulfate, AKA Epsom salt dissolved into it. And then I'm gonna see if that makes a difference in uh, color retention with this cotton fabric. And finally, I'm gonna use some of the fabric that had tannin soaked into it, as well as the Epsom salt to do a bundle dye, AKA eco print and see how this turns out. If it makes a difference that it had a tannin applied first and then the magnesium sulfate. I always enjoy doing these with the flowers right from around my yard. They make some amazing colors. 
colors that you would not expect these flowers to make. Um, it's so beautiful. But one thing about this is that it rinses out um, fairly quickly. And so I'm going to do just a rinse test to show you or to see how it does with the tannin and um, magnesium sulfate. So I'll squeeze it here and you can see the color is still coming out. So I'm just going to be gentle with this. I'm not going to, I want the color to stay, so I won't do that. Um, and it'll last a while if I just keep it out of the natural elements. I think I'll do more experimentation with magnesium sulfate using different plants. Overall, I really enjoyed this experiment and learning about what magnesium sulfate um, can do with natural dye as a mordant. Um, I will do this again with another plant just to try and use something that's um, a bit more long lasting than hibiscus. However, I appreciate the color change that the magnesium sulfate brought about similar to the um, aluminum potassium sulfate. Um, so I feel like that's a plus. Anytime you're using hibiscus as a dye, you just, you know, you're going to get some nice color, but just be aware that washing it in the machine is not the best way to go. Rinsing it will rinse um, a lot of the color out, but I still had a lot that stayed in the fabric as well. And if you're using protein fibers, you may have even better results. Um, I only use uh, plant-based fiber, so that those are my results. If anyone watching my videos has um, questions or ideas about something, uh, just like the viewer asked me about Epsom salt, um, aka magnesium sulfate, um, just put it in the comments and I'm open to trying it out if it's something reasonable reasonable for me to do. Um, for me, this is this is learning and experimentation, and I'm happy and happy and open to helping you understand some things about natural dyeing, natural dyeing as well. So I hope this information was helpful to someone and thank you so much for watching.